Welcome back guys. This is Nick up here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we got a car for sale at Maple Motors. This is a 1969 model Chevelle. And she's fast. This one's set up. We got a 396. Aluminum accessories, power steering, braided lines, electric fans. Nice set of weld wheels. She's ready to rock and roll. We're gonna be taking her down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws, telling you how it runs and drives. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos daily. Also hit share, that helps us out more than you know. And also like this video. that time let's go for a ride before we leave we'll look around the interior go ahead place your bets do you think the horn works on this one we have uh, a switch on the back that cuts all the power off in the car you got tons of gauges under here there's no carpet in this one they took the back seat out full roll cage uh, package tray looks pretty good. Headliner's not terrible. It does have a rip right there. And a rip up here. Needs to be redone. You got fuel switch. Uh, the fan. And let's go ahead and turn that one on too. It's another fan. It does start up nice and easy. I do not believe the fuel gauge works. Water temperature's still working its way up. Motor is not warmed up yet. Oil pressure's up. Trans temperature's still low. Got a nice little fan down there. That's what the interior, INT fan, interior fan. <laughs> There's your tip gauge. I don't know if this one down here is gonna actually come up, but you got another one over here twerking its way up. I don't believe there's wipers on this one. Uh, I can show you the mileage, but I can't stand behind it. This should be a really fast car, guys. You've also got trans brake and line lock on the dash. Horn don't work. Horn don't work. Let's hit the road and see how she runs. All right, so we're getting ready to take off. Get your seatbelt on. Uh, it does have a lap harness in here. I believe you're probably going to need it. It does have the shoulder. We're just going to lap on for now. We're going to be easy on it. Uh, we'll still have a little fun. I believe it's reverse manual valve body. So we got reverse right there, neutral, and. Okay, yeah, so it's got more power right here where the drive position would be. And then you go back into second and then back into third. So it's reverse manual valve body.
I do not need fuel, I check. But I do like getting those side footage rolling out of this place. So we're gonna get some outside footage of this car. Uh, as soon as I'm done with the test drive video, I'm gonna do a walk around pointing out chips and scratches. I did not floor this car. It's just that bad. Alright, let's get this outside footage. somewhere cool where I can really get a decent pass I can only think of one spot and we're gonna go to it hopefully there's not a lot of people there if there is I may end up back here all right so I did realize the temperature gauge is here and here and they're both reading really similar uh, this is 166 that one's 170 
Okay. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. Just a little, you know, tire kicking scene. It's impossible in this town. There's way too many people. Uh, there's no parking lots. I mean, just now, I finished that one. And look, somebody parked right there. I mean, I would not do that if he was right there. Just doing my best. Because, I mean, cars like this, I mean, they just do it with your big toe. You don't even have to try. This one runs awesome. a deal with somebody around here and use their parking lot.